networking methods that I've learned and employed are Western methods, uh, primarily European methods. And as such, I have a good selection of bench planes and specialty planes, and also hand saws, uh, all Western made, that I use when I do my work. However, I have lived in Japan for 25 years, and I have amassed a small collection of Japanese tools, such as these saws and the planes next to them. Um, I use these tools, these Japanese tools, sometimes with Western methods, uh, just because I think I get better results with different tools. I don't have an example of every type of Japanese saw they have here in Japan, but these are the ones that I use in my shop from time to time. The first saw I'd like to show you is the Ryoba Nohugiri. Uh, there are two types. You can get the modern produced version, like the ones with the white handle and the black handle. These are Kaebashiki Nokugiri, which means basically you can take the blades out and replace them because they've been impulse hardened and you cannot sharpen the teeth. The other type are the old type, like this one, uh, which has been hand forged, so you can sharpen this one just like you would any other hand saw. You do, however, need a special feather file, uh, which has a distinct shape that fits the geometry of the teeth. Here I'm using a ryoba nokugiri to rip cut a leg for a table I'm making. Um, I like using this saw for rip cutting and for resawing wood because it allows me to use both hands evenly um, so they don't get as tired. And also it allows me to keep the blade uh, much straighter uh, and make more fine uh, straight cuts. Next is a dozgi nokugiri. Uh, you see a lot of people overseas using these. Um, it has the backing on it, which makes it ideal for cutting dovetails, uh, etc., something where you need the blade to be straight. Uh, but this is also modern produced. It's been impulse hardened, so uh, you can take the blade out and replace it when it gets dull. I use a western saw when cutting dovetails because I'm used to it. Um, I don't like the straight handle on this. It makes it difficult for me to uh, keep the blade straight for some reason. But the advantage to this type of saw is it's very long, so it does make cutting dovetails uh, very easy and quick, especially if you're trying to cut them on very thick pieces of wood like uh, you would be when you're framing a house, etc. The next saw is a kataba noko, which basically means that it only has a blade on one side, or you can also refer to it as a kugibiki nokugiri, uh, because it has a flexible blade that can be bent, and it is perfect for cutting off uh, dowels, etc., after you have glued them into a joint. With its long, flexible blade, uh, this saw makes quick work of any type of dowel that you need to cut flush with the wood. These are Azebiki no Kugiri. Uh, these are great saws if you need to cut a hole in a piece of wood uh, without using a jigsaw. Uh, it has a rip blade on one side and a cross-cut blade on the other. There are various ways to use them. Here is one example. I'm using the saw in combination with a guide block to cut a long groove, a uh, panel groove, in a piece of wood. And here I'm using it to cut the portion of a box lid that will fit inside the box and keep it secured. This is a kariwaku noko. You can use it um, for rough framing, uh, but it's actually just a pruning saw. It goes through branches very quickly. It has a very aggressive cut, uh, which is perfect if you're trying to prune trees. This is called a mawashibiki no kugiri. It's basically a hole saw. You use it the same way you would any other hole saw. It's got a cross-cut type blade, which cuts very aggressively. It comes in all different sizes. This is a short one, a uh, cheap one actually. And then lastly, we have a Ori Tatami Ski no Kugiri. I love this. It's basically like a big pocket knife. It has a uh, rip blade as well as a cross cut blade and also a hole saw on it. And it all folds up into one convenient package. Here's a close up of all three blades. If you do happen to get a hold of one of these old saws and you want to sharpen it yourself, be aware that you're going to need a feather file uh, that is shaped like this one because the teeth geometry uh, is different than it is on a western saw. So just be aware of that. Thanks for watching.